Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today is a video I'm going to do for hashtag think pink art. And it is a hashtag event that's happening with YouTube artists. And it's in support of uh, breast cancer for the month of October. So all you have to do is go to your Google or your search in your YouTube and put in hashtag think pink art and tons of artists are going to come up with their versions of art for this hashtag and go check them out. Give them thumbs up, leave them comments, and let's just share the love, share the videos, and um, hopefully we have a cure for this one day. So what I'm going to do is start out, I'm going to do a mixed media canvas. And what I have here is just a stencil with uh, letters, <laughs> just letters and a canvas underneath. And I'm going to take some um, modeling paste and I'm going to put that on first. And you can see I don't have really, the only thing I did purposeful is that I put this stencil so it reaches up here on the top and this one on the bottom because there's going to be two areas that I can, you know, put more modeling paste on if I want. But that's kind of what I'm doing here. And I'm just going to thinly or thickly, I like it thick, but everybody has their own thing. Depends on what you have. And I have a video coming up later for how to make your own modeling paste or molding paste is what I call it. But apparently it's, uh, I say it wrong, <laughs> but whatever. All right. And then I'm going to go and just whatever's showing. Just wipe it like you're icing a cake. Now you can use, you don't, if you don't have something like this, once I get this on, I'll show you what else you can use, which I'll use a lot. I use it with my sprays. I use it with my paste, my texture paste, all that kind of stuff. And I'm not worrying about how perfect this is going to be because it's going to be roughed up and uh, distressed somewhat. And I'm not really, like I said, I'm not worrying about words or everything coming out perfectly. All right. I like to scrape off because I like to have a little bit extra, but let me show you. Um, I don't know if I have it here. I might have to grab it in a bit. Here's one. You can get these at the dollar store. They are fantastic. They're for the kids to, uh, you know, write on to practice letters and, and all that kind of thing. So you can definitely lay that down and push your paste in there. And again, not worried for, and look how that sticks up so nice. So I think I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna lift this up and you can see how nice, and I'll clean that off when I'm done. I don't like the paste to dry on these because um, it makes it harder for them to use. A lot of the things, a lot of stencils, no, I don't mind, but so you can see I have a, it's somewhere in the middle here. It's not. So I'm just going to take, and I'm not worrying too much. I'm just going to push it in there. So I have some texture paste in there. And see how that lifts up and it's given us a lot of different kinds of texture on here. Really good, really, really good. And I'll put it here. I need a little bit more. Okay, and you can see it's kind of all over, in the middle, wherever. If you want to do it more over here, by all means. Um, maybe I'll do some right here and just go over that piece. Just a little bit. Because really what I'm going for is texture. I'm not really going for anything major. But you can see it's like all over and that's good. And then all I like, and like I said, these are, you can buy these in packs of different sizes. You can buy it. Uh, and then I just scrape off. But these are at the dollar store. They're great. And you can do so much. You can use them with your sprays. You can use them with, you know, anything. So I'm going to let this dry. And then I will show you when we get back what we're going to do. Okay, so my molding paste is dry, completely dry. And now I'm going to do the background. So I know that I want to, I think what I want to do is I'm going to use some of uh, black paint. And this is the 
Uh, my new obsession is the Americana Decor Chalky Finish, and this is in carbon. So I'm going to do this. And I'm sorry if you can hear my cats in the background, but they're running all over. They're crazy. All right, and I want this pretty, pretty uh, opaque, meaning I don't want really any of the canvas to show. Sometimes I do it, uh, you know, when I'm doing mixed media and I like for that white to show or the paper, whatever you're using. Um, and I'm not gonna wet this with water because I don't want uh, to reactivate any of the uh, molding paste modeling paste, sorry. Um, so well, let's just do this. And you can see I got bumps and all kinds of stuff. So what I'm going to do is make sure I have it on these edges all the way around first. Okay. All right, I'm going to put that in there. And then I'm going to take a, now you can use a big, um, big, bigger brush, but I want to kind of pounce in between because this is lifted up and, you know, the paint won't always go into the, all those little nooks and crannies. But you can see doing this, it gets right in there. Because like I said, I want this pretty, pretty black. So I might even have to put a little bit more paint on. And just kind of rub it on. And sometimes you might see a little bit of your uh, modeling paste come up, you know, like I'm doing this. And sometimes there's like little little pieces in there that might have dried or, you know, aren't connected all the way. They're just little, little pieces. All right. Okay. Let me look and, let me look and see. All right. Pretty good. Get up here. Okay. Sorry, I got in my head there for a minute. A little, <laughs> little bit in my head. All right. So now I'm going to dry this. And this paint dries so fast and so nice. Like I said, it's that Americana decor and carbon. Now I can see I missed a little bit here, but I'm not going to worry about that too much. Right now, I want to concentrate on drawing this. But you use whatever color you want. You use whatever paint you want. It doesn't matter. This is just my new obsession for the minute. I also love that I can see where it's drawing. ones I really want to dry. Okay, so now I want to get, let me grab my sandpaper. Okay. 
I hope this isn't too rough. This might be a little rough, but we'll see. I'm going to just cut a piece off. All right, and this is my sandpaper. I just tore a piece of it off, but I want to make sure that it's basically dry. And let me, you know what I'm going to do before I do that? Let me show you. Look at this, how cool, all that texture. Look at that. Oh, so nice, so nice. All right, so I'm going to start. What I'm going to do is now I'm going to take some of this away. Now I have a tool coming to do a um, demo on, and I'll be doing that probably next week. That would make would have made this a lot easier, I think, if the tool works good. It'll be a review coming up, I have. But you see, let me move in. Let's just move in there and we'll concentrate up here so you can see like the end and the no and the end and the no. And look at the red, how cool. I mean the R and how look that looks. Alright, so we're just gonna keep. I know the thicker ones are a little bit still a little damp, but I'm not gonna worry about it. Rubbing it. Gonna turn it the other way. Yeah. Oh, I like that. All right. Let me. For some reason, I can't talk and do this. I don't know why. Um, I'm sure it's because I'm just a weird person. <laughs> I'm sitting here and I'm like, I'm like, I can't, I just can't. I don't know. wonder why. But I'm just going to do this real quick. I just want to kind of, again, I'm not going for necessarily seeing what letters they are. It's just more for texture and a background. So. Kind of scratching it up. Okay. And now I'm going to just rub it this way a little bit. marked up. I love grunge. I can never have enough grunge. Maybe it's because I used to love uh, grunge rock or whatever the heck it's called. You know, Pearl Jam and Soundgarden and Alice in Chains and all them. I was into the grunge. I don't know, but I love grunge. Okay. So now I'm going to do what I want to do is I'm going to get a um, white pencil. Oh, you know what? It's in the other room. I bought char chalk to show you guys, but I don't have that here. Okay. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look up, um, the, uh, ribbon, the cancer ribbon, even though I know what it looks like, but I want to have a little bit more of a, uh, frame to, you know, for me to kind of look at. Okay. So I'm wondering if I should, you know what I think I might do? I think I'm just going to go for it, which scares the crap out of me, but still, I'm going to do it. All right, I'm going to take pink, and let's see. We're going for it. That terrifies some people. Sometimes terrifies me. Okay, let me make sure. Okay, so I want this to be the middle of this. So. I'm going to stick this in, but I think first what I'm going to do is I want to just kind of have an idea. So I want the top of the ribbon to be here. 
So I kind of went it like this and like that, just so I have an idea. And then I'm just going in, I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to trace it out in this pink. Okay. And then make it, this needs to stay thin. This needs to kind of go up. And I, I did it on purpose, putting these colors, these, uh, letters rather underneath because I want that texture to show through when we're done. Uh, hopefully my vision for this will <laughs> will come out on the canvas. We shall see. One never knows with me. One never knows. All right, so this is coming down here. This has to be thicker. So I'm essentially what I'm doing is drawing with my paintbrush. And one thing I'm going to tell you is make sure when you do this, that you like for this, cause this ribbon goes to here. So you want to make sure that like it continues up. So it looks like that's where it's coming from. as well as the other side. I probably should have used a bigger brush, but I'll do that in a second. And then I'm just gonna lay this out. And I'm not worrying too much about it being all co colored in right this second. Now you could have used gesso to put it down here first um, and wiped it, you know, did it like that. So it stood out a little bit more. You definitely could have. I didn't, which I probably should have, but it's all right. I think you're going to get the gist of what this is. All right, so I have the base of it down and now I want to, now I want to take some of this black because I don't like this right here. So I'm just going to kind of take this off this pink. And you know, I always do that. I always put the water down and you can wipe it. Always move your paper towel or your rag to a cleaner part once you put it down there. Yeah, I'm going to do it one more time. Okay. And I'll go in and fix it up a bit if it needs it after. But that's a little bit better. That's how I. Okay, you know what I think I'm going to do is get a bigger brush as well to kind of go in. And paint it. Now, obviously I'm going more for a grunge look here, so I'm not into, um, and if you know me and you've been following me, you know I'm into normal things as it is, but I don't like everything to always look so pretty and all. Although I love pretty things and I love to paint pretty things, but for the most part, I like grungy. And like, I think differently about certain things, which you'll see when I go to write what I want to write on here. It's a very, uh, I want to say punk rock, but that sounds so ridiculous. When I say that, but because I'm 45 years old, why would I think, why would I say that? But hopefully you guys out there understand what I mean. Yeah, I'm not going to start singing the Ramones for you or anything, but all right. 
Okay. I think I'm going to put a little bit more just right here. So normally what I would do is I would, you know, draw this, outline it, you know, make it a little bit uh, better. All right, I can see right here, I don't like that. So I'm gonna grab a little brush with water, cleaner water. And I gotta accept the fact that those words, those letters are gonna stick up. So it's gonna make it look a little wonky, but I wanna clean it off just a little bit. And I'll probably just go back in with a little bit of the black paint to clean that up a bit. So I'm gonna dry this. So that's dry. I'm going to put this lid back on here and set that over there. And I'm just going to go wipe off the rest of this pink that's on here. I'm going to take this little brush again. I'm going to grab some of my uh, carbon. And now I'm going to just take it and kind of kind of clean it up, but not really, just to kind of get that pink out of here. Because I can always go back and take some more off with the uh, sander. What's it called? Sandpaper. <laughs> I couldn't think of the name with the sander. So industrialist. Industrial. Okay, go in and just clean this up a bit. And kind of here. Not worrying too much. Like I said, I'm not going to outline it or anything, but just these. And I'm dedicating this to Sabrina, to Rena Evans. Um, I hope she doesn't kill me. <laughs> but I have watched her battle. I mean, this goes to all, all of you out there dealing with breast cancer. But um, I've watched her journey through her, her uh, breast cancer. And she's such an inspiration. And I just wanted to do this in honor of her. Because she is one of the nicest people you'll ever meet. And she kicked cancer's ass. So, but to all, all of you out there, this is really for all of you guys. You guys are warriors, boy. Okay. So I think that's all I'm going to do with that. See, I wanted to make it a little wider. I wonder if I should make it a little bit wider. Hmm. You know, like up here, maybe. And then I want to put a little pink, lighter pink highlight, but let's see, maybe a little, maybe a little bit more up there. It's driving me a little bit nuts, even though I just went and did that, made it 
finer. We'll just keep doing it. It's not going to look very, uh, see, I want this to be a little, a little more here. This right here makes me happy that, oh, like the way the background looks, I just, oh, I just love it. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave it like that. What I'm going to do is let that dry for a second. And <clears throat> what I'm, what I'm doing is, to me, I want to make this about the reason I'm doing the grunge and all that kind of thing. And my thought process is cancer comes and it kicks your ass. It kicks your ass. You lose your hair. You, you get sick. You have the chemo, the radiation, and all that goes along with it and all the illness. And you're scared to death. And it makes you look like this background. It's going to, you know, I'm going to kind of do the same thing with this ribbon. It takes away your vanity in a sense and you know there's no beauty in it i guess is a better way to say it. this is kelly's brain kelly's way of thinking so when i'm done i'm going to put i have a saying that i want to put on here and it's about making it through having cancer supporting people who have cancer but knowing it's a hard road knowing it's not beautiful and pretty but getting to the other side and you know i that's my thought process for this um, and like I said, once I put the saying and everything on it and touch it up, I don't want it to be, I might seal it, but I don't want it to necessarily be um, a pretty thing, but I want it to mean something. So I hope that makes sense. So I'm going to let this dry. And then when it's completely dry, I will be back and we will be good to go. Okay. So now I'm going to take, I wasn't going to outline this and I still don't think I'm going to, but I'm going to take a white paint pen and I just want to add just a little bit of, I guess, highlights. And I just kind of do this and smash it down so it's not too, it looks a little brighter on the camera than it is in uh, on the painting. I don't know if you guys can see. My lighting's really weird today. So let's see. I just kind of want to add, I'm, I might still go around with black. I'm thinking about it. I don't know. I keep going back and forth, but I'm just kind of adding just a little bit. It's kind of like putting that sparkle in the eye. See how I'm doing it? Just very, and then kind of rubbing it. And this is something you don't have to do. This is just stuff that I do, but I'm thinking the black might make it a little, I, I, I don't want it so much sharper as, uh, I just want a little, I want it distressed. I am going to, uh, what do you call it? I am going to sand it a little bit. All right. So I'm getting my sandpaper and taking off some of the sand. And I just want to go in here and I want this to be as, do it light, but I want it to, you know, to kind of replicate the outside. You know, this part, the grunge, I guess, is the word I'm looking for. Even on that white I did, because the white, like I said, everything's to look grungy. So the white adds that it was there for highlights, but then things got grungy. Now I used, now the background was a chalk paint. It was the uh, Deco Art Chalky Finish Americana, Americana Decor. So that was a flat chalky paint. So you can see definitely how that came off much better. This is a acrylic paint by Liquitex. And you can definitely tell 
it's a, you know, it's a glossy paint. It's a thicker paint. So when you're trying to get some of this dark uh, to come out, um, the grunge, you know, it takes an extra minute. So don't, so if you don't have the chalk paint and you're using regular paint, don't think that you did something wrong. It's just going to take a minute, you know, a little bit of, because you're essentially taking that gloss that's in there off. And if you go over the same spot for a minute, you want that canvas to come, you know, come out and that dark and just very grungy. And it's kind of, you want it kind of scratched. You don't, this isn't to be pretty. You know what's great to use on these two besides, I mean, this is just a piece of sandpaper. You can use emery board, but if you have, and you can get these at the dollar store, at least my dollar store sells them. The blocks of uh, nail filing that you use, uh, it's a block. One side's fine. One side's, uh, you know, more uh, coarse. And then there's like the very coarse side. Uh, and then some have, you know, there are different things, but they're, they're the block. So get it from the dollar store, or if you're, you know, we have them here because my daughter does her nails every day. Uh, you know, you can use that. You can get a sanding block, one of the, you know, just very easy, whatever is best on your hands. This, uh, you know, with RA and fibro and all that I deal with um, can be very hard on your hands and hurt. Last night I was sitting, um, after I sanded this, I was sitting and my hands, I was like, oh my gosh, why does my hands hurt so bad? Um, but that, you know what I mean? So use what you have, you know, but like I said, look at your dollar store because you'd be surprised at the cool stuff you can find there. Uh, especially when you're doing unconventional kind of art, whether it's painting or clay or jewelry, you know, whatever. Look at things just a different way. You know, I love that. Art, you know, it feeds my soul. <laughs> feeds my soul. So whatever kind of thing I'm feeling on that day, that's what I like to do. Okay. I think that'll be, that'll be enough for that. Now I'm going to go back over some of these letters just a little bit. Like I said, this isn't, this isn't something that's going to take you long. And it, whatever you put in the middle, whether you choose to put a collage item, if you have a really cool item you got from a book or magazine or something that you really want to incorporate in your art, you don't know how, do this background and, you know, you don't have to do it distressed. You can do it whatever way you want. And then, um, you know, glue your picture in the, in the middle and you have this really nice canvas of something that you like uh, and you don't have to do, you know, go nuts and, and, Worry that it's gonna, you know, it's not gonna turn out right. Okay, so I think a little more up here. I just love getting them edges. And it doesn't matter what way you go. Now we're gonna do inside here. Because remember, it's distressed. There's no, there's no right or wrong. Do this in your art journal to play, you know? Something very simple. And if you don't have uh, modeling paste or molding paste. Like I said, I have a video up on how to make your own under, gosh, it's under $3. It's probably a dollar with just the items that I used. Um, you know, you could check that out. I'll put the link down below for that, but, uh, don't do this. You know, uh, if you don't have uh, modeling paste, um, you can use, if you have a stencil, just use regular paint underneath, uh, you know, really think outside the box and, you know, there's so many ways to do it and none of them are wrong. <laughs> it's art. It's, it's fun. All right. I get a little obsessive because I love the scratches, but Hey, that's me. Uh, this is how I feel most days is, is, uh, broken and scratched up. And I just, I hope that you guys can really see how awesome this looks. I'll have to switch my lighting, but okay. So now I'm going to just get off most of that dust and I'm going to You don't want to breathe this in. 
And if you're doing this, you know, this is fun to do with the kids. You know, outside, let them paint a background on a piece of wood or paper or whatever, and then let them go to town and, and, and you know, have their own vision of how they want it to look. So, okay, so this is it so far. I, I just love it. I love it. I love it so far. And we're not done because, all right, so I wiped most of the sand off. I'm really digging this. I love, the reason I did this pink color is um, I, I didn't want to do it too uh, light because I went back and forth thinking, okay, this is vintage-y looking, distressed, all that kind of deliciousness. I probably should do a paler pink to make it look you know, to really go with that, that distressed, uh, grunge, you know, whatever. However, when I thought about it, I thought, well, I don't know if it'll pop off. And my main thing with this is, uh, you know, for breast cancer and, um, people who are dealing with breast cancer, people who have breast cancer, people who are survived, people who have stuff, you know, family members who have breast cancer or survived, you know, whatever. And I really wanted this to really be the image that popped off. So I can distress this much more, but I want that base of the um, very strong pink. When you look at it, I want you to know what it means and says. Now I might go back and distress this a little bit more. I might throw some of the light pink in here. I don't know. I might leave it like this because I really dig that look. So that's just me. So I'm going to use a patina and I'm going to go grab that and I will be right back. Okay. So you know what I did? I grabbed the, uh, a light pink. It's called sunset blush. And I think I'm going to, I'm just going to run it through here. I want to see what it looks like. I'm just going to add a little bit there. You can see how light it is. I might distress, you know what? I might take a dry brush. I think that's what I'll do. Let me find a dry brush. I want a rough dry brush, if that makes sense. Yeah. So I'm going to use this. And the the, brus the bristles are a little rough. I'm just going to put that in there and then dab it off. And I just kind of want to bring it through. I kept looking at it and I think, you know what? I think I just want to do that. I just want to distress it more is what I'm doing. And you can see I hardly put any on, but it's gonna, it's really gonna go on here. And you could fill all of it in. You know, you want some of the dark to come through. You want some of the uh, texture to come through. But I think I do want to mark that down. It kind of gives it, as you can see, it kind of gives it a, another, you know, look of it kind of being um, sanded, if that makes sense. All right, I think that all, that's all I'll do on this one. Let me see. Just some on these ends. I think, you know what, I'm okay. So I, I'm gonna leave it like that. Yeah, okay, yeah, I like that a lot better. This is a little too much there, but that's okay. So I'm gonna take the rest of that paint and just put it on my paintbrush and throw it on a piece of card, uh, you know, scrap of paper, cardboard, whatever, just to throw it on here so it can, I don't waste it because I don't like to waste. It's usually why I paint out of the caps because <laughs> that's just how I am. Okay, so I have that. So now I'm going to see, I'm going to use the same brush. I am going to wash it off because I don't necessarily want that pink, but I am going to dry it a little, um, a little bit. And I'm going to take, I have some antiquing cream from Deco Art in patina green, and I'm going to shake it real good, as you can hear. I'm going to squirt a little bit here. And I have some vintage in Americana decor in chalky finish. See the color? I got the sh sun shining in my window. I have my blind shut, but it's very sunny here today. I mean, very happy for that. But when it's very sunny and by two o'clock this afternoon, my room will be completely full of light, no matter what I do to the window. 
All right, let me try to open this. This can be such a pain to open. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna shake this. just put a little bit and you can see they're fairly the same you know they're the same color one's a little brighter one's a little darker so I don't exactly know which one I'm going to use the most of but I just want to go around the edges kind of I just want to give it that kind of look um so I'm gonna I like to go light to dark so I'm just going to put this in the light and then I'm gonna and this is the remember the chalky one it dries fast it dries matte it's one of my favorites so I'm just gonna like very lightly take my paintbrush because I don't want it to be necessarily uh, too opaque and I'm just gonna take it around all the edges that's how I'm gonna start it okay you might need a little more I'm just gonna go back right in there where I took it off and I'm not, like I said, I'm not going for perfect or anything else. Now you can see here, you can see it's kind of, you know, it got to dry. It dries very matte and that's why I like using this. But I'm going to take my paintbrush before I dip in for any more and kind of blend this down this way. Just so it pulls whatever's still wet in a little bit. But we're going to add a little more there and we got to go around there. I'm going to move my water real quick. Okay. I don't have the kittens in here. I just shut my door because they wreak havoc <laughs> on me. Okay, so a little bit more. You can see it's already starting to dry. And I'm going to just run it in here. Just like that. And then I'm going to take a little bit. I'm just going to go a little bit at a time. Now I'm going to take a little bit of this dark right here. I'm going to just put it here. I want it like a dry brush and I'm going to go over some of this with no rhyme or reason. Some, you know, think about it. Think about going to the flea market or, you know, a vintage sign or something, you know. You just want this kind of wherever. But I want that black to come through. You can see how pretty it's starting to look with those colors. I don't want this to be traditionally beautifully pretty, if you get what I'm saying. But, you know, for what we're doing here. So I'm going to take a little bit more of this. And I'm going to start moving myself in towards there. And stay towards that edge. I don't, you know, or that's how I do it. I shouldn't say you do it. You do. You do whatever you want. And a little bit more. You want that black to still show through. Oh yeah, I love it. If I must say so myself. All right. And knowing me, I will. I'll say I love it. All right. Now you're just going. And if you don't have a brush, use use your finger. I mean, you could definitely use your finger. You can use a Q-tip or whatever you have. Old makeup brush. I have an old makeup brush here. I should have used it. I'll probably use that in a different video, but. Okay. Yeah, I like it, and I like the black coming out. I like how that looks. Um, I don't think I want to add any more. I'm going to add a little bit in here because I waited till last to do that. Just a little bit. And see how it grabs on those parts that are lifted up? I love it. I love it. It just adds more, more, um, more love. And if you have too much, just go in and pat it off. I don't think you ever can have too much. And I'm going to add, I'm going to add words, but I think, yeah, I'm 
going to hit these higher ones, whatever this will grab onto. Whatever's left on my brush. Okay. Yeah, yep. All right. So I think there I'm good. You know, I could sit and play with this all day. Okay. So that'll be that. I'm going to squirted some of this out. I'm going to take some of this paint and just kind of use it on here just to clean off my brush. Okay, so I have that. I'm really, I, I really like the way. Now here's what you do. I'm going to show you what you do if, what happens if we're, if you're doing this and then all of a sudden you say, oh, you know what? I did it a little too much. What am I going to do? Now to me, this isn't too much. To me, it's perfect. I love it, but you never know sometimes. It could be a little too much. So what you'll do is take your black paint that you originally used. And I'll show you a little bit of it. I don't want to do too much on here. Let me just squeeze that little bit out. And you can water it down too if you want. I, I'm not going to in this instance. Now I want these outsides to be, you know, you want these bolder parts and everything like that. But here's what you'll do. You'll have your brush. You put it in your black. Right. Make sure you clean off your brush. I didn't clean mine off. And then you'll go in here and you'll say, you know what? I want this right here is a little too, maybe in here is a little too beat up. And then all you'll do is just go over it. And you see it below, it kind of like blows it out, right? It just kind of takes those scratches and puts a little more black, lightens, you know, darkens it up a bit rather is probably the best way to say it. And you'll just go in and do that until uh, you have it the way you want it. So that is how I do that. And I gotta put my brush in the water, which of course I moved clean back there. Okay, so now we have that. Now I'm gonna close this. Okay, wipe this up so I don't end up in it, because I always do. And now I'm gonna hit it with the heat gun. Just for a second. Now I want to think about what I'm going to write as my message on here. Now I have two that keep going back and forth. I wanted to put I'm a survivor, but when I put I'm a survivor, that to me limits, well, it doesn't limit it. I mean, I guess even if you're going through it, because I want to acknowledge somebody who might be going through it or somebody who, you know, got through it. You know what I'm saying? Not just went through it, but they survived it, but then somebody going through it. So I'm a survivor could really go either way. Also, I'm a fighter. All right. I know what I might do. Okay. So here it is. Let me show you. I mean, look at that. I just hope that you guys can see because I love it. Look at that. And you have all that texture. I mean, it's just all texture and so good. So good. Yeah, I, I love it. I love it. So, all right. So now I'm going to, now here's my question. Do I want to handwrite it? Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking to myself and I kind of cut my brain off there for a second. I wonder if, wonder if I grabbed, wait, I got an idea, I got an idea, let me see. I don't know how well this will work, but I'll try it on a different piece of paper to make sure it works before I do it on here. Because what I'm thinking about is just drawing through the letters kind of with my marker to kind of see like that. Uh, I'm just going to do it. I'm not going to try it. I'm sure I can always go over it with black. How do I want to write it now? Well, I know I want to write, I think I'm going to write the word fighter here. So that it's going to be, I'm a survivor. I'm a survivor. 
I must survive. All right. Um. All right. All right. I can't think too much because if I think too much, it isn't going to work. I'll never get it done because I thought too much. So let's just go for it. And see how I did? I'm pushing this down and I'm just going to do this. Now I can go back in and thicken that up. I don't know how much you can see though because my lighting is well off today. Let's do it like that and push you back there. I, now I want to do am, and nothing has to be spot on because it's just not gonna. You can use a gel pen. You can use paint on a brush. And like I said, I will, I will, um, make them darker, not darker, lighter, but thicker. But I find this the best for me because, you know, it's easier for me to judge like this. I am, I think I'm going to wonder if I should put a uh, or a uh, here and then survivor. Maybe I should have put I. Yeah, I'll survive. <clears throat> no, I want that over here. I don't know. Let's see. I am a. put survivor here but guess what Kelly got to do I got to look it up to make sure I spell it right because I am a phonetical speller I don't even know if that's the right word I'm sure you guys are all laughing at me right now all right survivor I don't want to watch the show survivor I want to spell the word survivor okay um I don't spell I I do phonetically like survivor I would spell it I mean, probably the correct way, because that's how it sounds phonetically, but whatever. All right, so I'm just going to go in and try to get all these in here. Let's hope it all gets in here. Otherwise, I'll black it out and do it again. No harm. I'm not worrying, you know, I just want the words to be, it's going to be all funky because that's my mindset. That's just how I'm doing it. How much are you betting that I'm not going to get it all on here? We shall see. All right, now I'm going to look. I want to bring that up a little bit because I see it's going down a lot. Now this is a good, this is a cool stencil. You can see right here it has lines and that's really because if I put that line right on the last one I did, it kind of gives me an idea of where to put the next one, but I'm not going for that right now. I'm just kind of doing it the way I want, but if you need perfection and some people uh, do, then by all means, use it the way you want to do it. I don't think there's any right or wrong way. I can see underneath there a little bit. Put that like a mess. Alright. S-U-R-V-I-V O R. Got to double check because you don't understand my brain. My brain does not work. I'm sure a lot of you understand that. And then the R. Looks like we made it. Yeah. Okay. All right. 
I am a survivor and I'm going to make them brighter and all and then that'll be fine and then I want to write I'm going to hand write fighter do I want it here here how about should I put I am a fighter or I'm a survivor fighter maybe I'll do it here I'm a fighter put my energy into this I am a No, I don't want that little thing on there. Let's see. Okay. Like that. I am a fighter. Yeah. I just love this. I just love this. I just want to do like for RA and fibro, I want to do one because I just love this. And I have RA and fibro, so well, there you go. All right, so let's go back to the eye. And I'm just going to, I know where it goes and the basic of it. So now I can kind of play, make it thicker so it can really be seen. Let's go to the A, the A to the B to the C. I don't know what the heck that was. Let's pretend like I was a rapper for a minute. I'm not clearly, I'm not. All right. I am. And see how much easier this makes it. Now you can even use your, you know, this the thing I showed you in the beginning with um, like this. You get it at the dollar store, you can use this as well. You can see, you can write through it and, and do your guide and all that the same way. I have a video coming up with exactly how to, you know, how to use that as well for beginners in mixed media. And here we go. Now I'm thinking, and I won't know until I get done here, Maybe put in glitter over the words. Maybe not. I don't know. I gotta see. <laughs> That's me talking out loud to myself. Okay. Yeah, I like that. I like it a lot. I might go over it one more time to make them a little thicker. I think that won't hurt anything. But I want to put... Let's see. All right. Hmm. I am beauty. Let's thicken this up a little more. These are the greatest. These are from deco art glass paint markers and these are the best i use them in my mixed media i use them in my jewelry i use them uh on so much stuff i just love it 
They come in all kinds of colors. You gotta check them out. They're great for ATCs. They're great for art journaling. Fighter, I am beauty. Should do that. All right. Okay. So I'm going to go over these one more time, and then we should be done. Now, don't forget to go check out hashtag the hashtag today. I'll put it in the beginning of my um, video, so you guys can uh, go check it out. And it is the hashtag. What is it? Uh, I gotta make. I want. I know it. It's pink. I just gotta make sure I know the. It's hashtag think pink art. So that's what it is. I want to make sure I got it right on. Because all of a sudden, when I say think pink, I think of the uh, Grease Two movie. Uh, don't ask when they're doing the the dancing and the singing to think pink pink song, whatever the heck it is. Pink ladies. Okay. Now I could even go in and outline these with um, black or whatever if I really want them to stand out, but I really don't on these ones. Like I said, it kind of goes with the whole grunge. It kind of picks up that background, but the words are on there. And it's just, just uh, what it is. Okay, I'm a survivor. I'm a fighter, I am beauty, and I want to put maybe I am I like writing my own energy, you know, writing and putting my own energy into it. And you can see that one over that, but that's all right. I'm not going to worry about it. It's just a little thing. I'm strong. What else? I am a survivor. I'm strong. You can do it. And you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm just going to write, I'm going to write it right in here, right here, small, loved. I think that's it. I, I, I think that's all I'm going to do on this one. Like I said, I'm going to go over these probably one more time just so they really stand out with the white, but I got to let them dry. And I'm, I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. So don't forget, go search the hashtag. Go give love to everybody who's doing this. And if you are somebody who, like I said, is going through uh, breast cancer right now, if you are somebody who survived breast cancer, if you are somebody who has breast cancer in your life with somebody that you love or somebody that you know, Many blessings to you all. Uh, I can't even imagine, you know, what y'all go through and the pain and all that goes along with it. That's why it's very important for us women to go get our mammograms. And um, I just wish you all the best. Many blessings to all of you. Give me a thumbs up if you liked doing this start to finish with me. I have a bunch more ideas, so I'd like to know what you guys think. Um, and I just love you guys. So as always, be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. You guys are the best. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.